Good morning. What a beautiful Sunday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall be glad and rejoice in Him. It is a rainy morning, the Sunday before Christmas, but it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful out here, and I just wanted to come out here and say hi and wish you a happy, happy Sunday. And look at God's nature. It is so beautiful. And just take a moment to remind you that we have the power of life and death in our tongues. And we don't realize how much effect our words have on people. Recently, I had this conversation where apparently a year and a half ago, I had a short conversation. It was to me, there was nothing to it. it um, we were just talking and I logged off and and that was it. There, you know, there was no, no, no more. And I find out the other day that this person had harbored feelings thinking that I did not like them. And that wasn't true. I think very highly of this particular person. I love her to death. I'm so grateful to have her in my life. And I never knew that I had hurt her. And I had hurt her because I had got busy doing something and I didn't respond. You know, we don't realize our actions, our behaviors, our words. We have the power, you know, that how people are taking us. A lot of times I say I have terrorism. So I just say what's on my heart. I just I just speak. And, and a lot of times I have a different meaning. You know, you'll say something and you don't mean it the way people take it, but you don't know how people are going to take it. So we have to make sure we're always approaching people with love and kindness and warmth. Because the Bible says in John 10, 10, the devil comes, the enemy comes to attack, destroy, steal, and kill. Okay. Jesus, oh that but, but Jesus came so we can live life and live it more abundantly. Okay, so what happened for this year and a half? This person's harbored feelings thinking I didn't love them. Harbored feelings of feeling maybe rejection, feeling hate, when that wasn't true at all. So if we're harmed by somebody's words, if we're harmed by somebody's actions, I encourage you today to go to that person because nine times out of ten, they have no idea that they've harmed you in any way and it was not intentional but the devil will take something one little thing and he will turn it to divide you and separate you but this Christmas season God is reunifying families he's reunifying relationships the reunification's there families are coming together friendships are coming together the enemy can't hide. He can't keep continue destroying he can't keep separating us and why does he separate us because if he can separate us and we harbor hate and guilt, and then we're not focusing on God. So I encourage you, if anybody's hurt you, um, Book of Matthew tells us, go to your brother, go to your sister, and say, hey, this is how I took it. Is this how you meant it? Talk to them, talk to them in love. Listen to their words, hear them out, but let them hear your words too. And ask them to hear your words, because your words are important. Your feelings are important. You are valid. You're entitled to your feelings. You know, it breaks, it absolutely broke my heart. I start crying because I had no idea she knew this or she felt this way. Because I speak, I speak love over her. I brag about her all the time. I love her. She's my sister-in-law. I love her. I'm so glad and honored. She's, she's part of our family. But that's not how she felt from me. And I was totally unaware. We've completely worked through this, but it just, talk to your loved ones. Let them know how you feel. Don't let this Christmas season go by. Don't let 2021 end with any bad feelings. Don't let unforgiveness continue to rage in your heart. I encourage you right now to just let it go. If there's someone that has offended you or you've offended someone and you know about it, go to them. Work it out. Don't let another uh, sun go down on these feelings. Clear it up. 2022 is going to be amazing. We are going to be blessed. It is starting to rain, so I'm going to get off here. But I love you, and you have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye.